So in your document, the first impression that the reader will get is the cover page. And also to make the document file readable, you probably want to sometimes start a new page or you might even want to insert a blank page. So let's have a look at some of those options. So I'm on page five at the moment of six and I'm just gonna come up to the top left and I'm going to insert a fully formatted cover page. Now we talked about the building blocks and you can see that there are different styles here. And of course, these correspond to the other building blocks of the header and the footers. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use those header and footers that correspond to these building blocks. So in this example, I'm just going to have a look and see which ones of these I like the look of. And so I'm gonna go for the one that's here, perspective and I'm going to insert this one. If I want to have more cover pages, I can go online and see what's available from office.com. But let's just click in this one. Straight away, you can see that I've now in the bottom left, we've gone page one of six. So it knows to stick it in the very front page. It's taken the title training document and I can type some abstract information in here. That per photo I might want to change. So I could perhaps right click on it and I could choose change picture. And perhaps I want to put in the water lilies. There we go. If I don't like it, what I can just do is I can just, of course, control Z, undo that. And of course the undo's in the top left. If for example, I did change it to the water lilies and I wanted to save that cover page so it was available for all documents. All I need to do is I need to select everything on this cover page Note nothing selected on the other pages. And then all I want to do is come back into the cover page and you can see I've got save selection to cover page gallery now. And if I click on this, I can give it a name, training example. I could choose what gallery I want to keep it in. Well, it is a cover page, so it needs to stay in the cover pages really. I could choose what category I want it to be. So I could have report built in or general give it a description and then click OK. So now that I've done that, if I'm then to start a new Word document, so I'm gonna come up File, New, Blank Document, and then I should be able to now insert that new cover page that we just created. So if I scroll all the way down, you can see there we go in the general, I've got the training example and look, there we go it's got the lilies there as well. And, uh, and I didn't save the actual text before, so that was my mistake. I hadn't selected everything, but you get the idea. So I'm just gonna, don't save that, there we go. Come back to the cover page. I can come up here, right click, and I can come to organize and delete, and of course delete this particular one. Am I sure I want to delete it? Yes, I do, close. There we go. And let's make this back now to the original one with the original image. There we go. Okay, so there we go. So I've inserted a cover page and we also showed you how you could save your cover page if you liked the design of it. Let's scroll through our document a bit now and perhaps I want to now, reading this, I actually think, well, do you know what? This needs to be on a new page. So I'm just gonna come up here and there's a page break. And if I click on that, you can see straight away, it's ended the page here and it's brought this straight away to a new page. That's the best way to always start things on a new page. People who are not necessarily used to Word, I just to press delete to bring it back. They tend to have a habit of perhaps putting enters in to take things to a new page. That's a really bad habit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you why. If I, there's a little icon up here and what this does is this actually shows all the hidden formatting. And you can see that every time I press a return, I get one of these formatted icons. I'm just gonna remove all of these. There we go. And let's do it the proper way. I'm going to now insert page break. And you can see that actually what it is, is I've now put in this page break here. That's how Word interprets this document. And it ensures that if I add another line in here, that in fact what happens is this will still be on a page break. Whereas if it was just a series of returns, then this would just keep going down and down and down. So the right way to start a new page is always by page break. Resist the 
temptation to just do more and more enters. Just gonna come back and switch off that formatting. The final thing you might want to do is perhaps insert a blank page. And I come into here, insert blank page, and you can see, here we go, I've got a complete blank page. Occasionally when you do do that, people do like to perhaps say, this is a blank page. And often that's also just at the bottom, so you might want just to have a text box down there with that in. There we go. I'm just gonna undo that and keep going. And I'm going to, there we go, the document's back where it is. So there we go, we've looked at cover pages, we've looked at how to insert a blank page, and it's also importantly how to use a page break. Far better to do that than to just hit enter, enter, enter on the keyboard, a classic schoolboy error. There we go, as usual, give it a go.